<laughs> Sorry, that was weird. I gotta get hyped. Get hyped. This is the intro. This is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> are, are, are you getting charged, would you say? I'm so excited to charge my phone. Oh my, that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. Oh, no, I'm done. <laughs> it's too early. It's too early. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. Today we're going to be making a phone charger that looks like a mini arcade. Featuring LEDs, wireless charging, a working button, cat ears, and some sweet art. Are you intrigued by this seemingly random list of things? This video is sponsored by PUBG Mobile. More on them later. So before we even started this project, we had to make sure that it's at least somewhat viable. So I started with a prototype. It was printed in two pieces and... A little tight. Version two. Oh. Version two, I overcorrected. <laughs> it's a little bit too loose. And I redesigned it so it can 3D print in one piece, no gluing needed. Version three got the cat ears. Yeah. Very fancy. The fit is perfect. And most importantly, it has built in hooks for the wireless charger that we got. But we didn't just want to have a blank gray 3D print. So we thought we'd try something a little bit different and paint this. This is the idea that we had in mind. It's actually inspired by our majestic space donut, AKA our black hole table. So cool. It's like a majestic space <laughs> donut. Uh, but we thought it'd be fun to do like a donuts in space theme. And this is a moment of truth. I wanna make sure it fits and I wanna make sure it charges. Caitlin, I haven't tested to make sure that this is like at all viable. This is like, if this doesn't work. Then we scrap this footage and do a new project. Fingers crossed. Oh. <laughs> oh, hold this, if you can film me. So what we're testing is if the wireless charger works through the wall of the 3D print. Yeah. Okay. So let me just, actually let me just stuff this in here first. So you see how in there, there's, the, there's those little hooks? Mm -hmm. So hopefully I can just slide this in. Oh, here it is. Are we gonna do this project? You missed it! It's working! It's working! Yay! <laughs> I have a moment of doubt. Me too. Okay, so now that we know this project is actually possible, mm -hmm. I think we can start shifting our focus to ways to make it a little bit more exciting. LEDs. <laughs> but we're not really sure how we are going to let the light out of this box, because right now, we don't have any holes, but. We thought because we're going with like a galaxy kind of theme, it would look nice if there were little pinprick star points. But before we go through and print a whole nother piece, we thought we would do a little uh, test drill to simulate it. Yeah, so, thank you. You can do the honors. I'm just gonna do some random ones. Yeah. Awesome. Now, a few more. <laughs> That's good. That might be a good start. I'm just gonna stick some little LEDs in here. You can, <laughs> you can, you can see them, Let me sort turn of. the brightness up a little bit. You can see the ones along the back wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's turn it into a nightlight type situation here. Some are more prominent than others. Oh. Oh, wow. We just changed the orientation of them? Yeah, we just uh, taped them in place. That looks so much better. That's that's way better. That's way it. more even. Oh yeah, and we almost forgot to show you one of the, the additional cool features of the LEDs is the button itself will be embedded where the buttons go on the arcade. So like some of these buttons will just be for looks, but one will turn the lights on and off, which will be yeah. super cool. Wow. <laughs> and the rest of the buttons we're just gonna like use little random magnets we had laying around that we're just gonna insert into. Yeah, they're little tiny fridge magnets. We might need to drill this out a little bigger. But let's see, let's see, let's see what this, oh, this is another good thing to test. Wait. Oh, 
what's this? Look at oh that. my gosh, it's oh, so cute. Oh, I wouldn't it's install so them cute. all, but I'll probably waste them. But look at that, they're all gonna have the buttons right there. Oh, That's a little awesome. joystick right there. Yep. Oh, it's oh. gonna be so good. It's, it's gonna, gonna be so, be so good. good. Okay, and I think it's time. Time for the real version of this to be 3D printed. <laughs> Are you simbaying it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I was holding it forward and then I realized I couldn't see it. Then over here. It is a cat. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. <laughs> Copy strike. <laughs>so usually when we 3D print things, we print it at the worst quality, the highest speed, because we're always in a rush. Turning it turns out that it's a lot of higher quality if you slow down and let things print for 24 hours. We should know this after like six years of 3D printing. Yeah, but like look at the difference it makes. So you can see the support details through here, the layer lines are like really evident. But on the higher quality one, oh wow. Oh, baby. Up here. Look at the back of the ears. Yeah. Low quality, very visible layers. High quality, oh my God. It's so good. But anyways, one of the reasons that we went ahead and like opted for the higher quality print this time is because we have a lot of sanding and priming and sanding and priming ahead of us to prepare it for paint. Which brings us to montage mode. Uh-oh. Is it stuck? Oh. <laughs> okay. I got carried away. Uh -oh. Did you see it? Yeah. Woo! Oh. Look Where at Where are the layers? Yeah. No layers. Yeah. What? I Seriously, know. what? We've never gotten a print this smooth before. <laughs> well, also check this out. For the curved surfaces, I just burnished it with uh, with Jimmy's ice pick. Look at how smooth that corner is. It's like glassy. That's crazy. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, so now we can spray paint it. Yeah, and for the very first time, we're gonna be trying these like fancy spray paints we've heard so much about. <clears throat> Montana Gold, not Ooh. sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. So you might notice we only have pinks, no blacks or navies for the space because in our experience, acrylic paint, which is what we're doing for the other details, sometimes it's hard to get a really nice, saturated, light pink. Yes. Let's see how this works. Okay, go for it. Woo. That is great. And then also we have two colors because we're gonna test out doing a little bit of a gradient. Okay, dark coat. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm leaving. Oh no, I didn't make that time. Do the other. What do you think? Make him stop. I want to see how much the color builds up over multiple coats. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsor. Evan, what are we doing on this plane? It's time to jump into our sponsor ad. Okay, that was pretty bad. Hey guys, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, PUBG Mobile. It's one of the most played games in the world with how many downloads, Caitlin? Ah! Yeah, that's right, almost 700 million. It's a free game where 100 players drop down onto a deserted island in a winner-take-all showdown. I'm actually pretty addicted. I won the very first game I ever played and I've ca I kind of got hooked. Wait, so only one of us can win? Yeah, but... And they're always adding updates to keep things interesting. Like major updates to the classic Miramar map, a racetrack, and the new Golden Murado. And when you want to take a break from battle, there's even a new cheer park where you can hang out with others in real time and even eat roast chicken. I've had a lot of fun playing while waiting for layers to print and paint to dry. And if you want to play PUBG Mobile yourself, there's a link in the description and you can play it for free. Oh no, my phone's dead. Better get back to making this charger. Now it's your turn. Yes. So 
Unleashing the glorious. Oh, careful. I know you normally like being on, on this side. Yeah, we kind of good. You get the seat. Maybe. I can sit also. <laughs> great. <laughs> great. <laughs> Uh oh. It's probably fine. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> At least I caught it. You're on can of camera. It's recording? Is your audio on now? Cause Aud audio's on. I like how you recorded, but you didn't turn your audio on. I got yours. You ready? Ready. Okay, guys. Now is the moment that I've personally been waiting for, and that is painting the outside. Oh, we got these cute little paint markers. We got some leftover flow acrylic, which should go on nice and thin. And it's time to freehand yep. our design. How I'm thinking we should start is by doing the outline of the frosting drips, then color in the space bottom, and then we'll come back and do like the little details. Yeah. My cap. Okay. I'm sorry if I block it. I need to be in weird positions when I <clears throat> I got a great angle. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Ooh. <laughs> They're gonna go for like a navy. Mm -hmm. Dark, dark, dark navy. And then you can just like slap some of that on and then spread it. Yeah, that, that's a good slap and brush. The brush slaps. <laughs> it slaps. Oh yeah. It does have a navy tint to it. You know, I think, uh, I think it might be a good time to switch to time lapse. Can you hear me? Ah! Ah! Oh no, I'm, I'm not on. Again. So this needed to dry for about 30 minutes. So logically, we streamed for three hours. Oh, Caitlin, should, I, should we get the spear again? <laughs> it's really warm. It. I feel I feel very royal. <laughs> but now we're back, and I'm gonna do all the fun little details. Oh, my God, it looks so cute. Look at it. Like you can see oh, the gradient. You can see the gradient of our pinks and Everything's like. Everything's looking beautiful. It's a really nice sharp line. It looks oh, it looks oh so dang good. It, okay. just, it just fills me with joy. <laughs> I know, I know. It's such a so cute good. thing. Thank you, thank you. Oh. I still have to do like the harder part. Thank I just you for painted being, like, a solid color. Bringing but. our vision to life though, Caitlin. You're doing, you're doing good work. I just need like something to test on. Do you mind if I cut this? <laughs> <laughs> how, how big do you think the sprinkle should be? Like about that big? Yeah. Okay. Now, if I mess this up, you don't mind starting over on the spray paint, do you? Just like, just redo the whole thing and we'll just start from scratch. You know, sometimes sprinkles get broken. Sometimes there, there's two different sizes of sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's the humans add sprinkles sometimes. <laughs> What's the alternative? Machines. I'm sure most machines <laughs> add sprinkles right. too, you know? It's like probably half, half. Yeah. Okay. Probably more machines. Mm -hmm. I know I'm starting in like the corner, <laughs> you can't see, I but. I can't see anything. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a sprinkle. <laughs> Why did I ever doubt myself? This is so easy. <laughs> They're all different angles. I think it's supposed to spread them farther out. I, I think spread them out less. some. Less and a little bit more organic. Or what do you mean organic? Just like, you know, there's like some bear spatches. Like spread? Something? Bear oh. spatches? Bear, bear, bear spatches, you, you get a bear and you spatch it. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't be doing this so late. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. I'm trying to sprinkle. <laughs> don't, no! <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I'm not even operating the camera. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, look at this. It's so dang freaking cute. Evan hasn't seen it yet. I want to do the stars too before I show him, but I had to show you guys, just look. It's like a god dang donut. So I'm gonna try to do the stars now. Do it on the back so that if it's bad, it's okay. Oh, I should zoom this in. Yeah, there you go. Tough to keep it tiny. Ah! <sighs> I like it. Let's do that a bunch more times.
Okie dokie. Should I, should I close my eyes? Should I like... If you want to, don't step on anything. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so adorable! Isn't it so cute? Oh, it's even better than I even pictured! It's so like Studio Ghibli meets Simpsons or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's been a weird combo, but like, but it's cute! I love it! I love it! Oh my gosh. Thank you. With the sprinkles and the gradient and then the black and then the little like Ghibli sprinkles. Mm. Okay, now it is time to pass it off to you for the electronics! Noise. That was a really good one. Oh, can it fit? Mm -hmm. Yes. And will this fit? Please fit. We have to sand out the opening a little bit. I think it's the paint. The paint added a lot of like thickness. Please. All right, so I can either Drill it out, which has the, the worrying possibility of ruining the paint job as it pulls out, or I can try to shove it. I say shove it. All right. <laughs> what if we just get some sandpaper and sand the inside? Let's get a hammer. <laughs> or, or it drills it, let me, let me see. Look at that. Oh, you just scrape it out? Yeah, just scrape it oh, out. Oh yeah, gentle, yeah, gentle. yeah, gentle, gentle. Yes! Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh, so good, so good. Now we'll we'll probably have to do that with every single opening because I'm pretty sure I added a load of paint to all the holes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, time for our little buttons. Yay! Oh, nice, Yay. nice, nice. Oh, it fits. Oh! Can we uh can we shove that in there a little bit more? Hey, that that's it. Oh, that's all we can do. It's kind of sticking out a lot for a button. But we mocked this up on the past ones. What do you mean? I didn't know that was the deepest it could go. I mean, it's okay. It's, I didn't realize it was gonna stick out that far. Okay, then we're, we'll have to get the power drill. Can we just snip them shorter? The magnet goes in quite deep. Okay. We're drilling. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. One down. Ooh, if that had have touched, if that had have kept on going, this would have scraped the, the paint off. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. I know it is frustrating because we, we could have designed it into the print. Yeah, I thought that the button height was fine. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You're gonna be okay with that ugly, super tall button? You know how I hate tall things. <laughs> yes, oh. last one. Oh, yes. <sighs> okay. Yes, yes, oh. yes. That's great. All right, All right now I just... Can't push that one anymore. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. They look really good. They re look really good. Now, should I add the joystick? Oh, it, oh, fits. it does. Oh, oh yay! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look that at is, that. That is so cute. Ah! Oh, I love I love it so much. I love it so much. I'm right. so glad that we use little magnets and actual buttons for this part. Okay, right. to the lights. What we originally meant to do. Shove it up in there. How do you feel about 50-50 odds? You ready? Yeah. It works! Well, hey, something works. On. Yeah, it's just bright in here. Hold on. Oh! It works, you know it's it subtle. Works. It's subtle, but it's totally there. I see it and I love it. But the point of all of this, this looks cute. This looks great. I love it. Does, does it work? It, yeah, does it charge a phone? It charges! Ah, it charges! Yay! It works right away this time! It charges! Time. Oh my gosh! Oh, Woo. that's so great. Woo. Oh, we Woo. did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. It's so cute, it's so cute, it's so cute. Well, we have, we're gonna have to overlay some beautiful B-roll right now because this looks amazing. Look. And also, since we used a individual adjustable LEDs, I can have rainbow patterns play. We can have it like change crazy colors, but I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks so cute. Like more so even than a lot of things we make. This is true to our mock-up, yeah. true to our vision. I felt like we both got to let some of our skills sign you with your 3D modeling and the 3D printing, mm. me with the painting. Isn't it cute?
you? With a loading screen too? <laughs> Look at that loading screen, the custom loading screen. Uh, Evan, Evan made the loading screen. Well, actually my mom embroidered our Evan and Caitlin gaming characters and Evan made it move. A little supervisor. We gotta get supervisor approval. Supervisor. <laughs> okay, it's, I'm sorry. It's midnight. Evan's not functioning anymore. Not that I am, but I think, I think you have it even worse. I'm gonna go get the supervisor. Juby, what do you think about this? <gasps> oh, instant investigations. Juby is cat like you. Is not cat. Look, he's got cat ears. I am cat. <laughs> do you, are you a little ham? Want ham. Juby, what do you think of our work? Is it quality? Is it? <laughs> I think she liked it in spirit. <laughs> you know, I just realized we modeled this for your phone. My big old phone's not gonna fit in here. <laughs> oh, but we are gonna, are we gonna have the STLs for this? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We'll, we'll have the STLs files for this. We'll have them linked down below and you can enter the dimensions of your phone and the 3D model should adjust mm -hmm. to fit your phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of our videos, you can head over to youtube.com slash Evan and Caitlin Gaming where we play, post like three gaming videos a week sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, or two. Just more reasonable expectations. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Thanks again, PUBG Mobile, for sponsoring this video. You can check out their link below. Are both our mics on? Beep boop, 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 beep boop. The classic me- <laughs> I tried to stop it! I, I, I even have more! <laughs> I have so many empty what if cases. You, what if you accidentally threw your phone? I know. What if you picked up the phone? I know, I know. That'd be sad.